Ja, välkomna hit till denna här specialsändning av EFN och Börslunch som vi sänder direkt här den 17 juli. Eller det är inte direkt, det är en bandad intervju. Men eh, ett av de bolag som rapporterar sitt andra kvartal idag det är Börs eh, och låsjätten Assa Abloy. Och med oss på länk har vi koncernchef och vd Nico Delvo. Very welcome. Uh, Nico. Thank you. Thank, thank you for having me. Well, uh, you just uh, reported the second quarter for 2024. Uh, in general, uh, what kind of report is this? Walk us through. Yeah, we believe it was a good uh, Q2. We have a top line of uh, almost 38 uh, billion SEC, 10% up. And uh, in, I would say, difficult uh, market conditions where uh, the residential market remains very challenging. We posted a slight negative organic growth of minus 1%, but then overcompensated that uh, negative organic growth with very strong growth through acquisitions of uh, net plus 11%. Uh, mm -hmm. And I would say very good uh, execution, giving us a, a top a record uh, a bottom line, an EBIT of uh, north of 6 uh, billion sec and an EBIT margin at uh, uh, 16%. Uh, and then I think also good work uh, uh, on the cash uh, side with uh, a very good uh, uh, cash level and a cash conversion of 107%. So overall, we are yeah, very happy with the Q2 result. You describe it as a di quite difficult market out there. Uh, how would you say, uh, has the market improved? Uh, is the bottom Uh, have, you, have we seen the bottom of this, this uh, cycle now? Is it uh, fast forward and upwards? I think we should make a little bit uh, distinction between our different uh, businesses. We are obviously exposed in entrance systems to, you could say, industrial GDP, which is, I think, on a, on a good uh, level, not a very hot level, but a good uh, level. And then we have um, a big part of our business that comes from non-residential, commercial where uh, market conditions are still good, strong, not as strong perhaps as 18 months ago, but on a, on a very good uh, level. And then uh, we also have an exposure to the residential side where market conditions have been uh, more challenging for uh, several quarters, almost a year uh, now. And where we you know, finally, I would say, start to see uh, improvement, uh, especially in, in North America, where we believe the residential market uh, is uh, turning. We see, again, positive growth Uh, on new build, uh, for new build on the residential side. R&R mm. &R is still down, but at least has, has bottomed out. And as uh, everybody's more and more confident now that interest rate cuts will, will happen, we are you know, more, more positive than, let's say, three, six uh, months ago. Mm. Europe is a little bit slower. They are a bit later in that uh, cycle. Uh, we believe it will take a couple more quarters to, to start to see that recovery of the residential market in in Europe, but definitely the market has, has leveled out also here in, in, in Scandinavia and in Sweden in particular. Mm. We believe the market has, has leveled out and from here on with the interest rate cuts, we should start to see incredible improvements. Uh, you made uh, the, 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 the turnaround or the sales was 500 million kroners uh, higher than the first quarter uh, and, and uh, the result is uh, landing at approximately consensus. Uh, what, why, why would you say that you, you are maintaining this high uh, profit that you do? 16% EBITDA margin. Well, it's actually 16% EBIT margin. It was 16.7% uh, EBITDA uh, uh, margin. And uh, of course, that, that comes from, from uh, uh, different um, aspects. First of all, We, we operate in a market where uh, it's possible to uh, pass through inflation, uh, through price increases to uh, the market. That we did, we did also in, in Q2, which gave, gave us uh, an accretion of around uh, 130 base points uh, of the margin. And then um, we also had a positive mix in, in the quarter in the sense that we did more business in, in Americas than in China. We also had uh, mixes where we had more aftermarket uh, service business than, than uh, uh, product uh, business, which is also creative to margins, which gave us another 130 base points uh, um, equation. But I would say also definitely uh, all the cost measures that we continue to uh, implant, implement. We have a, 
manufacturing footprint program that uh, we, we repeat every 18 months where we consolidate our operations, where we consolidate factories, warehouses, and even um, customer centers that uh, contributes uh, to cost savings. And then we have ongoing uh, cost savings. This quarter, for instance, they were uh, in the range of 100 uh, uh, million a sec, just adapting uh, our cost structure to the reality that we have. Uh, in front of us, and us running the company in a very decentralized way and making, having the possibility to make decisions in France for France, in UK for UK, in US for US, gives us, of course, that agility to act uh, uh, fast to whatever market condition comes to us mm -hmm. and adapt cost as needed. Well, you mentioned that Europe has some problems, uh, especially the housing market, in, market has been in quite bumpy. Uh, it's up for you 1% uh, in, in, the, in the past uh, quarter. Asia Pacific is down minus uh, 5% and America strong uh, plus 3%. Would you say that um, is, is Europe the main focus for improvement in your business at the moment? Yeah, definitely, if you look at, at, at size, because obviously EMEA uh, is much bigger than, than, than APEC. It's true that America has been performing on a very high level, fired on all cylinders, I would say, for many, many quarters. Um, very happy now with uh, the, the positive uh, organic growth again in EMEA, because we should not forget that we are 45% uh, exposed in EMEA to residential uh, business, which, mm. yeah. Almost half of our business comes from residential, and clearly the residential market in Europe is still very um, challenging. So very happy with, uh, with that uh, uh, positive growth, and yes, working very hard to further accelerate that uh, profitable growth again now in EMEA, and also being, being confident because, again, also uh, interest rate cuts that will, will happen uh, in, in Europe uh, going forward should, should help us and should help the market to... Uh, um, start growing again from a lower uh, level. And if that happens, we will, of course, be ready to take uh, our fair share and perhaps more than that mm -hmm. of that uh, market growth that will come in the, in the near future on the residential side. And the final question. Uh, last year you made 24 acquisitions and uh, so far this year you made 11. Uh, how many more acquisitions will you make uh, before we close the books for 2024? Yeah, two years ago, 23 acquisitions was a record year. Then last year, 24 was a record year. Of, of course, we will try to break the record again <laughs> this year, but that does not only depend on us. I mean, uh, to do acquisitions, there is two parties, and both parties have, have to uh, uh, yeah, agree, of course. But I can say that um, acquisition activity is on a high level. Like I always say to our people, I'm happy but not satisfied because we can do, of course, always more. But if you look on a, on a wider picture, we have uh, identified more than 900 potential acquisition uh, uh, targets. Obviously, we are not talking to all of them, but we are talking to many of them. So we are very confident that we can continue our acquisition strategy going forward for, for many quarters and many years uh, uh, to come. And it's really embedded in our DNA. We have that ambition to grow through acquisitions 5% per year over a business cycle to complement our 5% organic uh, growth target uh, that we have also over that business cycle. And if you look historically uh, over the, the, the last five, 10 years, we have been delivering on that ambition from an acquisition side, and I'm confident that we will continue to do so going forward. Are good companies cheap at the moment, would you say? I mean, a go good company is never uh, cheap, I think, uh, uh, and, and that's what we focus on. We always uh, buy or have the ambition to buy good companies and make uh, them better. We are not, uh, I would say, a, a company that, that, that buys uh, turnaround bankruptcy uh, companies all the time and then uh, turn them around. No, we buy good companies uh, and, and, and make uh, them better. And therefore, yeah, you pay the, the right uh, uh, price. I think uh, multiples and, and, and prices today are on a, on a good level to, uh, for us to be... Uh, active or very active in the market. Mm. Thank you so much, Nico Delvaux, uh, koncernchef och vd för Asabloy som alltså rapporterade sitt andra kvartal idag.